Hey everybody, welcome to the songwriting studio and in today's video we're going to look at how to make a bass wobble in GarageBand. As usual, it's not hard to accomplish, but it will require that you have a MIDI controller or a keyboard that you're hooking into GarageBand. So let's dive in. All right, so we are inside of a little pop song that my daughter and I were writing together. And in here, I have something called the deep sub bass. So if I create a new software instrument MIDI track, over here in the library, you would go to synthesizer, bass and go down they're they're in alphabetical order to deep sub bass and you get this cool kind of low super cool sound and here's the simple part guys all you have to do to make the deep sub bass wobble is to pound your keyboard or to pound your midi controller so depending on how hard you hit it, it will wobble a little bit different way. The most straightforward way is to just whack it really hard. The hardest pound will give a wop, 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 a straightforward wobble is what I mean. If you hit it softer, it'll kind of wave in and out of the wobble. So just know that. And beyond that, I don't know of any other bases in here that you can make wobble. I haven't gone through every single one to try it, but I've tried a few. But at least the deep sub bass does it and the other basses they have their own little nuances that are cool and unique so that is it i hope it's helpful leave a comment below if it was or if you have a question and i'll catch you in the next video